There we go. So there's the Black Defender achieved. I'm going to exit the arena and uh, show the chick that I got a Black Defender and hopefully get my Myth Defender straight away. And literally the first kill as soon as I enter, I did manage to get that Mithril Defender, which is awesome. I just came in, killed the Cyclops that was closest, and then picked myself up that Mithril Defender. So I'm going to quickly try and enter back again. Um, she acknowledges the fact that I've got the Mithril Defender. If I get an Adamant Defender off this Cyclops, I'm going to be a very, very happy man. Oh, that would have been good, wouldn't it? And there we have it, the Adamant Defender. That only leaves me with one more defender to go, and that is the Rune Defender. It should hopefully be within this 1,000 tokens. Um, at the rate I'm going right now, it should be well within this 1,000 tokens. Um, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just hoping that I don't have to go collect some more tokens just for the sake of getting the, uh, the Rune Defender. But, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I guess, hopefully, the next clip will be me getting the Rune Defender. But there we have it. There is the Rune Defender. We finally got it. I'm going to stay here for a little while just to get myself a placeholder, um, just in case I do. And it's always nice just to have a, a placeholder in the bank so you don't know, you don't have to look for the Defender all the time. Um, but I'm going to stick around for a little bit, like I just said, and get another Rune Defender, and then move on to probably Pest Control. No, 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 no not Pest Control. Uh, Barbarian Assault, because I do want to get the, uh, I do want to get that Fighter Tool. So, okay, so right now I'm just putting together some Strength Potions using the Tyramin. Um, the Taramid Herbs with the Vials of Water and then finishing them off with the uh, the Limpwet Roots. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to get, there we go, there's 16 Herb Lore. Uh, I was trying to get 25 Herb Lore because I do want to complete the Hero's Quest. And all, I've needed, all I need to do to uh, do the quest is the Shield of Arav Quest and get 25 Herb Lore. So I'm working on that 25 Herb Lore right now. And um, hopefully I should be able to get the 25 Herb Lore with the supplies I already have stocked up in the bank because I want to do the Heroes Quest, um, well firstly because I'm just trying to do a bunch of quests so I get my hands on the near Tisnot Helmet as well as uh, the Barrows Gloves, they're the two main things I'm going for I guess right now um, and I'm also waiting to complete the Garden of Tranquility Quest because I've planted uh, the Cabbage Seed and the Onion Seeds in those two patches and I'm just waiting for them to grow and it can be quite a bit, it's not really a pain, it's really just sort of um, I need something to fill in the time whilst waiting for those uh, for those patches to grow, and you know I'm filling it in quite fine, just hanging out here doing a little bit of herb lore, um, having a little look at I guess some having a look at some other goals that I can set myself. Uh, but that's what I'm doing right now. Hopefully I'll be back with you very shortly with another update. Okay, so I figured um, to train my herb lore to 25, I'm going to go with making attack potions because my original plan was to make anti poisons by killing unicorns and then grinding the unicorn. Um, Grinding, what is it, the unicorn horn uh, dust and then putting those with the, I think they were the Marantil or the Taramin. I'm pretty sure that they were Marantil. I'm going to have a look. I believe that, yeah, they were Marantil. Um, but I've changed my plan up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy Eye of Newt from the Portsarum store. Um, and uh, I, need, I need about 115 of those to get 25 herb lore. And I've just bought 115 guams off some guy from um, from Varrock West Bank. And it, it's only going to cost me about 12k all up. And, you know, I'd rather do that than spend all this diff all this other time trying to, I guess, kill these unicorns and then grind all those horns. It's really not necessary. And, you know, what well, I can do it with my attack potions very, very quickly and very, very effectively. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to go to the Port Serim shop and buy me so buy myself some I have newts, clean all those guams that I just bought and then put them into potions and get 25 herb lore. So we are now approaching 25 herb lore. That was very, very quick. I'm glad I did this method rather than camping those uh, unicorns for those uh, horns. But now I'm 25 herb lore. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the Garden of Tranquility quest and then knock out a bunch more quests uh, because I do want to get as many quest points as I can. The I sort of want about 180 quest points so I can get the Barrow's Gloves and just get a bunch of stuff, uh, a bunch of stuff in game unlocked so I can you know I have, I have access to a lot more stuff in game and that will make things a lot more enjoyable and a lot easier. So that's that's my plan right now just to unlock a bunch of different stuff. Um, firstly, I might yeah like I just said do the Garden of Tranquility. And then I might knock out, I think it's going to be the Heroes Quest as well, but we'll see. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just essentially, uh, I bought some logs because I couldn't really be bothered cutting them all. So I bought them for about, I think it was like 80 GP each. Uh, so 80 GP per log. And I'm transferring those logs into planks to then get me hopefully 20 construction. I need about 150 planks to get me 20 construction. And then once I've done that, I'll be able to, to I'll be able to do the Fremenic Isles Quest which will unlock the ability to use the near Tisnot helmet, and you know that's probably the best helmet that you can use in this game for my level, uh, which is level 80. Now the only other alternative would be to get the full void set, 
but right now I'm focusing on doing quests, and I can pretty I can pretty much do the Fremening Isles. All I've got to do is uh, is obtain that 20 construction, and I can complete the quest and get that helmet. So I'm very much looking forward to that uh, because the Neotisan helmet I will be using that you know for I guess most of my combat and things like that. So that'd be a very very nice attribute to the account and things like that. But that's what I'm doing right now. I hopefully I'll be back with you when I'm doing some construction. Here we go. There is two, 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 20 construction, my friend. There we go. I can now build a bedroom and I'll be able to. Hold on a second. I can now begin the Fremnic Isles quest. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Got to speak to Maud Gunners. I'm going to have a little look to see what. Um, See what, I guess, items I need, then I'm going to get started with that quest. It'd be sweet. Here we go. So we've got Mara's Borgar. I'm going to return the decapitated head to him. I thought I was going to die, but it turns out you could actually get free tuna and free pear potions from the dude just standing next to the gate, so that's always good. I'm going to return this head. It gives me a helm of... Oh, shit. Oh, that was wrong. No, 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 no. I don't want to put on hit points. There it is. 5k crafting, 10k woodcut, 5k con, 10k in two combat skills, which is absolutely fantastic. At six construction levels, my friend, and the ability to use the helm of Nia Tiznot. Isn't that just great? Here we go. We're going to wear it now. Oh, man. The count is looking a lot better.